Alright guys, what's up? Back on WWE 2K14 First years of WrestleMania mode and we will be in the 20th year next um, Let's see if there is even a WrestleMania 20 because obviously it featured Chris Benoit in the main event and WWE likes to forget that Chris Benoit ever happened Although, we also had Eddie Guerrero and that was a special moment so we'll see what happens Next event Oh, of course, it's Cena. Of course. John Cena has shown what ruthless aggression really means. Looks like we're missing WrestleMania 20. Ah, uh, maybe not. But it's big show John Cena at WrestleMania 20 US title. Ooh. Determined Cena wouldn't stay down for long. So it's time we settle this US title. You and me. WrestleMania 20. I accept. Oh, it's on! You got the franchise player on the Super Bowl stage. So get that gorilla big show out of his cage. I'm gonna walk in the United States champion. And whether you can see me or not, I'm gonna walk out the United States champion. It would be the WWE's newest rising star, John Cena, versus the largest athlete. John Cena. The big show. Fair enough. Um obviously they got a fucking Voldemort um Chris Benoit off this uh, rest 30 years of WrestleMania mode. Okay. Hopefully, Eddie Guerrero's on because it wouldn't be fair if not. I mean, come on. Big Show versus John Cena, US title. Let's do it, I guess. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. Introducing the challenger. Word Life. No storyline commentary. It's too early in the night for storyline commentary, apparently. Weighing in at 500 pounds, he is the United States champion, the Big Show. He's the world's largest athlete at 7 feet 500 pounds. And for the first time in his decorated career, the Big Show is defending a title at WrestleMania. Check out that rug. Ref, sorry, ref. I'm sorry, ref. John Cena has really surged as of late, King. But has Cena bitten off more than he can chew here tonight? Well, these two have battled on and off for the past several months on SmackDown, and it all comes to a head here tonight. It all comes to a head. Here we go. Cena versus the Big Show. I liked a little sign I just saw earlier saying, "What color shirt is it this week?" Hmm. 
And it's like, that's like real life now. I mean, he has a different shirt every goddamn couple of months. And there's a merchandise machine, but come on, man. Come on. Ow. There we go. Ooh. That was such a random thing at WrestleMania 20 with the little sign in the background. Didn't people come out there for Royal Rumble? Uh, where Cena returned unexpectedly. And the crowd popped. Um, large for like a few seconds and then realised, oh, we're supposed to hate John Cena. Shit. What's with John Cena knowing all these submission maneuvers? He knows five moves. Come on. <laughs> Typical Cena hater. I don't, I don't hate John Cena, um, I think he's a very good worker, you know, he puts on some good matches. He's much more of a better worker now than he was, absolutely. Do I think his character is stale? Absolutely. Um, definitely needs a heel turn. It's not going to happen because of how much, um, how much of a draw he is to the younger audience and to the female audience as well. And the fact that they offer refunds if he isn't on the show just indicates the fact how much of a draw he is. Um, I think if WWE produced more stars, pushed more stars, then they wouldn't need him as much. I do think he's coming to that point where he doesn't need to be in the WWE title picture, but he always is anyway. He could just be a main attraction like... Uh, like, you know, Triple H or something like that. Um, he doesn't need to be in the main event all the time. He doesn't need to go over superstars all the time. But whether that's attributed to John Cena or creative, who knows. And again, it's not John Cena's fault that his character's stale. They're just not willing to take a chance on changing it up. But I'm telling you guys, that heel turn is coming. And when it comes, it's gonna be special. I genuinely thought they were going to go for it, like, um, when bloody the Nexus was a thing. I thought he was going to be behind it all. And then I thought he was going to be behind the shield attacks. And then I thought he was going to turn heel most recently. When they were pushing Daniel Bryan and he was white hot. But no, they didn't want to take the fucking risk again. That's some bullshit. It's some bullshit, man. But remember, Hogan did not turn for ages. And when he did, it was a special moment. The crowd just got riled up like hell. It was a great heel turn. But um, hopefully it'll happen sooner rather than later. Oh, fuck me. Get off me. Guess what? AA time, bitch. Got him up. Got him up. Do you know what really annoys me when they do just seen the best big show? The fact that they make such a big deal of lift, even lifting him up. I mean, he's done it fucking thousands of times! It's so annoying. Unfortunately, it needs to be on critical. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God, oh, man. oh my God. Thank you. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly why John Cena should be nervous. What? Oh, yeah. Is doing the unthinkable, and the big show has got to be worried. Oh, that John Cena leg drop that I bust out from time to time. To the big show like this, the big show must do something drastic at this point, King. Another reason they're never going to turn him is the charity work that he does. I mean, he does make a lot of money for charity. He does grant a lot of wishes for kids. I think is the leading wish granter for Make a Wish or whatever. It's just uh, it's probably less beneficial to WWE to do it than it is for the fans. So, being a business, they're not going to do it. Here we go with the AA. Boom. Pin. One, two. Oh hell no! Ah, uh, hidden objective, son. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. 
You can't see me, ref. Can't be cheating like this. Uh, gonna get a chain while Easton Phillips gets the brass knucks. Boom! Hey, hey. No? Yeah? There we go. Oh shit, alright. A one! A two! And a three! Ring that motherfucking bell. John Cena. John Cena has done the impossible. John Cena has slain the giant. To slain the giant. All right. He needed the brass knuckles to do it, though, Jr. I mean, it is WrestleMania, and I guess whatever it takes. But John Cena is the new United States champion. Yes. Word life, son. Word life. All right. Cool. Cena vs the Big Show. Done. Oh, as if you can get that as an unlockable belt. The Spinner United States title belt. At the 2004 Royal Rumble, Bill Goldberg's WrestleMania dream is severed by an envious beast. Of course not. It was Lesnar versus. It was. Eddie versus Angle on it. Damn. This was an awful match. Why are they putting this on? Jesus. Yay! indeed so it's a bit of bullshit that we've got this match on because it was it was basically Brock Lesnar's kick out of WWE match um, the fans booed the shit out of it because they both knew I mean the fans knew that Goldberg and Brock Lesnar were pretty much done with WWE at this point and they both got a very frosty reception and undoubtedly the highlight of WrestleMania 20 was the uh, hug between Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit when they both won the title, uh, obviously both their dreams, they'd finally absolutely reached the pinnacle of their profession, and it's just been cut off from this game, and it's never going to be shown in highlight packages because of what Chris Benoit did. It's still an extremely emotional moment that deserves airtime. It was, you know, it's a it was tremendous to watch, and uh, it's just a shame that it'll never get shown now. Damn. Anyway, let's uh, do this match. Please welcome the special referee for this match, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin's going to provide a very <laughs> yeah, TV. It wasn't green, it was grey. I'm sure. A very physically intense matchup between one of the biggest studs on SmackDown and one of the biggest studs on Raw. Physically intense? That's putting it mildly. And something else you put mildly was saying that Austin is going to be a combustible element. Hell, he'll explode any minute. He hates both these guys, both Goldberg and Lesnar. All right, goodbye, son. The following interpromotional contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first... From Minneapolis, Minnesota, 
weighing 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar from the University of Minnesota, where he was an NCAA champion, made his WrestleMania debut last year at Safeco Field in Seattle, where he became the youngest WWE champion in history. But this match tonight is not about champions. And he almost killed himself. It's about finality. Who is the man? Will it be Lesnar or will it be Goldberg? It's who is the asshole that's leaving WWE? More like. From Atlanta, Georgia. Oh snap. We get the locker room walk. You sold out <laughs> as if they got the you sold out chance, that's funny. They're both sold out. And that's funny that they included that. That's really funny. I don't think WWE would let that. But uh, alright. It was historically accurate, I guess. Alright, let's do this. I'm playing as Goldberg. Move Austin. Ow. Oh. Yeah, bitch. He may as well painted a target on his back. Goldberg then interfered in Lesnar's match against Eddie Guerrero at No Way Out and cost Lesnar the WWE Championship. Stone Cold Steve Austin gave Goldberg a front row ticket to No Way Out and said, Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Lesnar later retaliated on Austin with a thunderous F5, and that led us to tonight. The two tie up. <laughs> All right, we're done with the Starline commentary this time. Why do I see lots of people with Piper shirts on? Uh, am I just seeing something that I don't know what it is? Hmm. It's kind of weird that FIFA are including like a crowd like this in FIFA 14 for next gen, and WWE's been doing a crowd like this for ages. I know they use smaller arenas, but uh, surely. Surely, like the first like few like rows on FIFA, would be able to handle a 3D cloud. Oh, probably, son. He's wrestling a mat. Lol. Oosh. W C W. What's uh what's the signature? Ow, you bitch. Is it a jackhammer? Jackhammer is the signature. Oh no, maybe not. It's that. It's that. Corner finisher. Here we go. Spear! 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 Oh, boo! Bang. You'll be knocked out, son. I was about to say rumors were running rampant, rampant that Brock Lesnar is leaving. Leaving, even. He did leave. He had such a short run the first time. He likes to move on quickly, does tall Brocky, doesn't he? I wonder what's next for him in uh, WWE at, at the present time. If it is Undertaker, then that'll be pretty sweet. Boom. That quiet seething. Then there's Stone Cold again. Goldberg showcasing his hard hitting. Dude, Smash check out my punches. Hi, Mom. Oh, reversal. Boom. Alright, here we go. Another fucking. Boosh! Here we go. Dude, jackhammer time. Jackhammer time. Jackhammer time. Yeah. I'm surprised no one else has used the jackhammer. 
Oh shit, pin. There we go. Oh, one, a two, a three, and peace out, Rock Lesnar. And then of course, WWE had to bury him. And Austin stunned him both. Both suck. You both suck. I'm sure I just heard that chant. Oh hell no! Touched him. He touched him. Oh shit! Oh shit! We now get we now get this. Sick, sick. Hey, guess what? Stunner! Take that! Hey, guess what, Goldberg? You get one too. Oh shit! What boosh? I like how it's a match stipulation. But why are we ringing a bell? This is just a post-match beatdown. I don't know if you just heard my dog, but that's really annoying. Yay! Alright, cool. Coolie, 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 coolies. Okay, WrestleMania 20 is over and done with. I uh, thank you for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and we'll be back with WrestleMania 21. We're getting close to the end, I guess. Still eight to go. Um, but uh, yeah, cheers. I'll see you next time.